Back in December, me and my brother went to visit a couple of fish stores, and among them was Utaka, who specialized in rare fish. And while looking through the store, we noticed they had a ton of cool gobies. And my brother is a big fan of this type of fish. Whenever we talk about fish, he's always showing off cool new goby species. But his tank back at home, although functional, was in need of a redo. So we came up with a plan to turn his tank into a true goby paradise. We bounced some ideas back and forth, and once we agreed on what the tank should look like, I asked my brother to prepare the tank. We're going to use lava rock and expanding foam to make our own 3D background. On smaller tanks, you can probably get away with attaching it straight to the glass. However, at this size, there's a serious risk of the background peeling off in a month or two. So I asked my brother to silicone a piece of acrylic to the tank to give the foam something to hold on to. He also added a small PVC pipe to help hide an airline later on. He did all of this two days prior to escaping the tank. Once I arrived, we wasted no time and got straight to work. We started playing around with some of the Mopani wood he bought, gobies are a river stream fish and therefore we wanted to create something that had a great sense of flow. Once we were happy with the look of the wood, I had my brother smash up a few lava rocks to create more manageable pieces. So I continued by attaching everything to the background using expanding foam. The foam will take a couple of hours to cure, but once cured it will be plenty strong to hold everything in place. On top of that, the foam will also help fill in any void spaces between the rocks. Now we have to wait a couple of hours until the foam is cured. A good four hours later and the foam had cured. So I got to work carving away any excess foam and slowly shape it so it would create one continuous rocky loop. shape and texture now match with the lava rock, but the color is still a bit off. To really get that seamless look, we smashed up some aqua soil and super glued it all over the foam. For substrate we're using an old mixture of aqua soil and black gravel. This is what he had in the tank previously, so why not use it again? We added everything in and sloped up towards the back. However, as you'll see later, I slightly overdid this and made the foreground layer a little bit too thin, making it hard to plant in. However, before we could even add the plants, we had to add a couple more details to the hardscape. I added a couple more rocks to help bring the background forward. Awesome, now let's start planting. I started out by attaching Bucephalandra thea green in a couple key locations, followed by Bulbitis deformis minia, Anubius pangolino and some java moss. All of these were attached directly to the hardscape using some super glue. We 
we also attach this enormous piece of Anubias. I'm not sure what species this is specifically, but judging by the shape of the leaves, my best guess would be that this is Anubias golden coin. Anyway, after attaching those plants, we ran an airline through the PVC pipe and hooked up this baby Groot airstone. I then tried to start planting some Phallocineria, but they wouldn't stick in the substrate as is. So we added a shallow layer of water and that seemed to do the trick. I then went through the entire background, planting various species of plants, starting off with the biggest plants and slowly working my way forward and towards the smaller species. With all the plants in place, it's now time to start filling up the tank. Since we're using the same substrate and filter as before, we can add the fish right away, as both of these will be riddled with beneficial bacteria. For stocking we've got 8 cis... For stocking we've got 8 Cyciopus Zosteropophorus, I guess, <laughs> 5 blue Stifelum gobies, 3 any gobies, and 7 other Sinkless. And there are also these 2 cherry barbs. These aren't really part of the plan, but these fish are quite old and they can use this tank as their retirement home. In the future my brother would also like to add more fish, such as rainbow gobies, lipstick gobies, as well as some hailstream loaches and green kubotai rosbora. However, I don't know about you, but I'm tired of looking at a cloudy tank. There you have it, the Gobi Paradise. This is my first time designing an aquarium for someone else and I couldn't have picked a better opportunity. Back when I started out with this hobby, this exact tank was my first ever aquarium. I later stopped keeping fish for a while and gave this tank to my brother to be his first ever aquarium. Years later, we're both enjoying this hobby, each of us looking after multiple setups. So it's a really nice full circle moment to be designing an aquarium together. We sure had a lot of fun building this one and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you're hungry for more content, I recommend you watch this video next. I'll see you there.